Selecting and filtering down your open bills for payment can be difficult and can take quite some time if you're not prepared with the right tools to actually find the bills. So in today's video, we're going to cover two ways of effectively managing your vendor bills and paying them. So let's begin by going to your dashboard, logged on as someone who's got the permission to pay the vendor bills. And you're going to see on your reminders that you can add the list of bills to pay here. If you don't have the reminder and you don't want to use it, you can also go to transactions, payables and pay bills. You can also decide to pay a single vendor. So if I click on bills to pay on the reminder, Netsuite is going to take me to the list of open bills. Now, there are already criteria set on this. The first criteria is the payable account that these bills are linked to. So for example, if I had some bills that were posted in the, another payable account, I wouldn't see them below. So here right now, you see that there's far less bills to pay. So in case you don't see all your bills uh, right from the, the start of that screen, it might be that you need to change the AP account that you're looking into. That's the first thing you have to check. The second thing is the, the actual cash, so the bank account, the cash account that's going to be uh, credited whenever you are paying the vendor bill. So uh, some companies will have some accounts on uh, in different currencies. So if you are paying in US dollar, maybe, or uh, in euros or in uh, Swiss fr francs, then you just have to make sure that you're selecting the right bank account. Uh, here it gives you a quick glance at the balance of the bank account that you have, you have selected here to make sure that you're not paying from an account which has no money in it. Uh, of course, the date is the date of the payment in real life. So it means that if the real payment happened two days ago, uh, then you're going to have to backdate this and put uh, the 26th of April, for example. This is the posting period, which is going to be uh, related to your financial reports. Uh, for the start date and end date, these are for... Uh, so for the start date and end date, th these are the dates that you want to filter your vendor bills by. You know, from which date to which day do you want to see the, the bills? You know, if you want to see the bills that are from, let's say, February, you would say from the start of February to the end of February. So the to be printed uh, is interesting when you want to print out the payment list afterwards and then use bill to address from vendor. It's going to be using the bill to address from the vendor record on the printed forms. So these classifications will allow you to set a department, a class allocation uh, to the bill payment itself. So if you want to filter down your bills by department, classes, or locations, you can do this by adding additional filters to the list of bills. To do that, you need to click on Customize and then look at the Additional Filter section and then scroll down to whatever class, department or location fields you want to add as a filter. So the result you see here is Additional Filters and these filters, if I click on the department, for example, I'm going to be able to select, uh, let's say, just the admin department and these are the bills that are that have been recorded against that department, so there's none. So it's a good way of filtering down your vendor bills before even paying them. Uh, the most useful is uh, the country and also the uh, currency of the vendor bills. Because obviously when you're paying in US dollar, maybe you want to choose your US dollar bank account and then only see those bills that are in the currency USD. Once you save the bill payments, so of course you're going to have to select which bills you want to pay within your uh, results of filters and once you click on save it's going to create the payment record for each of these bills and it's going to assign that payment record to these classifications and when you go back to your dashboard you'll have to refresh your reminders to be able to see the new amount of uh, bills to pay but of course you're going to go afterwards to the bank reconciliation and you'll be able there to see if you know, whatever you've set as bill payment amounts actually tally with your uh, real bank statement. I hope this video was helpful to you. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to be able to be alerted whenever we post a new video about NetSuite. Thank you and goodbye.